Hi guys. So today we're going to start the first of our video lectures and um, because I think maybe it's difficult to watch really long videos, I'm going to try to keep them to five to ten minutes. So I'm going to split what would normally be a, lower, a normal lecture up into several pieces. Um, so today we're going to start talking about how to use sound and music. This is really the last piece that you're missing. Well this plus how to use uh, GUIs to do HUDs and things which we'll talk about next week. But uh, right now we're going to focus on sound and music. So Sort of the roadmap of what we're going to talk about. We're going to look at how to import audio files. We're going to look at how to play sound effects. The audio. Uh, we're going to have to, we're going to learn how to program an audio manager, optimize music loading, controlling music and sound separately, and doing things like cross trading uh, tracks for music, for background music. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to talk about is the Unity audio uh, formats. So Unity supports a variety of audio formats, WAV, AIF, MP3, uh, OGG, MOD, XM. Um, so you see some of these are some of these are compressed and some of these are uncompressed. So compression is kind of like image compression. It, it, you all know what a compression does. It, it tries to make the, the music smaller, but it sacrifices quality. Um, it can also sacrifice uh, loading. The decompression time can be larger than for an uncompressed file. Um, so you can compress things to reduce size and reduce its quality, but also reduce its size again. Um, the thing to keep in, in mind is with Unity is that Unity is going to compress the final audio anyway. Um, so when it when it when it builds the app, it's going to compress the audio for the app. So generally it's better to go ahead and start with the uncompressed formats with AIF or WAVE and then let Unity apply the compression at the end. Uh, that's probably the easiest way to do these things. Alright, so to import audio files, uh, you just drag them into the project view and uh, it's super easy to do. Let me show you. Super duper easy. Where's Unity? So I've got some audio files, and these are waves. There are a lot of waves available online. I got these off of a site called Freesound, and uh, oh, I've never run. Uh... See, so they just. Uh... <gasps> And a lot of these are just free. I mean, these are these are just some sound files that I found, and they're free. So, yeah, check out free sounds. Uh, check out the licensing before you include them in your thing. Make sure it's legit. But um, you just drag them in. That's it. That's all you have to do. Um, so there's some settings that we have to look at here on the side. And let's see, I've got a PowerPoint for this. Let's just talk about it. Um, so if you look at the settings, you see that there's certain things that we can do. We can decompress on load. Um, we can compress the memory or we can stream. This really depends on how much memory you have and how long you're going to use the sound for. For example, if it's a sound like a, like a gun firing, you probably want to go ahead and set that one to um, set that one to compressed in memory or decompress on load. Um, if it's like background music, you might want to stream it. If it's a really long clip, you probably want to stream it. Small files that you use often, you want to go ahead and load. Um, large files that you're just going to sort of play in the background you set to stream um, there's this preload audio uh, checkbox um, you notice that the sound settings have changed a bit this is for an older uh, version of unity um, should we pre should we preload the sound so this preload audio data is do we preload the sound when we load the application or do we um, do we need to uh, load it manually uh, from I inside of our code. So th again, that's up to you. How much memory do you have on the device? What's your target platform? How big is your app already? Um, compression format, take your pick. Either one of these is fine. Uh, Vorbis or PCM are probably fine. Um, preserving sample rate is fine. Quality, you probably leave it at 100. Unless, you, unless you've got a huge audio files, you can always push the quality down a little bit for these things. Um, but so that's the audio setting. So that's what we're going to talk about right now. Uh, next time we're going to talk about how to actually play the clips in the in uh, in your code. Uh, so see you next time.